And look at this chart of the Renaissance IPO ETF, now negative for the year. So let's focus on the woes, if they are, of the IPO market. Is it something Wall Street should be worried about? Let's bring in Herb Greenberg, founder of Herb Greenberg Research, and Maureen Farrell, IPO and capital markets reporter with The Wall Street Journal. What are we seeing here, Herb? I think we're seeing uh, things getting back to, I would say, getting back to normal. But really, we, we, what they're doing is they're just coming off that period that was a moment in time. I mean, these numbers are being compared to, to January and February. I mean, everything was going crazy. That was the middle of the SPAC boom, the middle of the Robin Hood boom, the middle of every boom we've ever seen. So I think now what you're seeing is just things kind of cooling off as uh, you come off that kind of crazy period we were in. Are there, Herb, a a any um, sort of talismans in that, in, in that action that you could apply to the broader market? Does this mean that, that, that the broader, so go IPOs, so go the broader market, and we ought to be ready for a more, a, a, more, a quieter time? Well, I, I don't think anybody can sit here and tell you, give you an answer to that question. I think what you've really got to look at is, is when you're looking at these IPOs and what they're really telling you, and it's not just the IPOs, it's the IPOs, it's direct listings, it's what happened to SPACs, which were the canary in the coal mine. It's really about the quality of what people are going to be shoveling out to the market. And I think that's sort of central to the whole thing, Tyler. I think you have to pay attention to, you know, the window is still open. And remember what they always said, the window's open, you take the money. Well, people are certainly taking the money, but now you have to see the quality of the companies that are coming. And I think that's going to be the great next story of what we're talking about here. And, and I, I take from that, Maureen, that, that Herb is saying, watch the quality, because he, he senses that the quality is not going to be what it was, not as good as it was, that now more companies are going to grab for the money, come to market. Maybe they're not going to be quite as high quality. Do you have that same fear? And do you see the same explanation that Herb does for why things have quieted down. In other words, that back in January, uh, that was the apex of all things sort of mania. I think I agree with her, but I mean, there, it was a true mania, as he said, with SPAC volume. But I think you talk to bankers, you talk to investors, and uh, people seem to think this is more constructive, a healthier balance. I agree with him. The, the idea is go out, take the money now, but I don't think that necessarily means we're going to see um, un, like not good companies. I think there was a pushback. There was worries, especially around SPACs. We've seen it. There's been a pushback against SPACs. We saw some companies come out and test the market. They went down a lot on the first day. It, I think it's clear investors aren't going to accept just anything. But there still is a rush to market. You talk to bankers, investors, boards of directors. They think it's a time to go. And we're still we're still on track for the highest volume even if you take out SPACs in the IPO market ever, higher than the dot-com boom, people want to go out there now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.